release yourself from all the negativity glow up get your bag get in your bag don't let nobody stop you from grinding As I get home, girl. Hey yo, welcome and welcome back to my channel and my name is Sariana and in today's video I'm going to be doing my first girl talk video. Quick disclaimer, I may say something that you may not agree with or feel offended by or you feel like, what is this girl talking about? Shut up! She needs to shut up. This topic is not for her. I just want to let you know that we all are humans. We all have different perspectives on different topics. We don't always think the same and bump heads together and think, yeah, we're both right. Because it just doesn't work like that. We're made differently in different ways, etc., etc. So let's just get on to the video. So you may or may not see me look down on my laptop a few times in this video because my notes are actually on here so I don't forget a topic or anything. So yeah, let's just get started. So the first topic is being a side. This can honestly go both ways because I feel like there's people who is aside and don't know they're aside. So don't feel any type of offended because this is not towards you if you don't know. And yeah, but if you do know, you're clearly aware that he has a girlfriend or he is talking to someone and they're getting kind of serious and you're still talking to this person. You know, you are literally disgusting. I don't really care how you feel any further than that because that's just mad disrespectful and you need to really put yourself in other people's shoes think about how you would feel if you had a man and like they had a side or whatever and you're just a person on the side putting in all the effort putting in all the energy and giving him all your love catching feelings all that type of stuff and you're stuck on this person and he is not even doesn't even have all his attention on you like how would you feel maybe you wouldn't care because yes you're disgusting okay i said what i had to say i i you know what i'm saying do not come for me all the people who are sides and messing with other people's man but um that's disgusting okay next thing is toxic friendships um i had a few toxic friendships and i feel like this is not okay at all especially when you're a teenager when you're young you need to really be focusing on yourself and on your future and you're putting all your time and energy into a person who doesn't give a flying <laughs> about you and you need to be focusing on yourself because baby so let me tell you how you know if you have a toxic friend or not okay so this person is like always making fun of things that you know irks your soul like maybe an insecurity how tall you are or saying that you have bodies or things like that knowing you're a virgin but you had little moments where something could have happened you know things like that when they just pick on stuff that you know that they know irks your soul that they know is not true that they know when other people say it, you get really angry or when they bring up things that you don't like when they make jokes about things that's not funny and they talk about you and they try to act like it's a joke when you try to like discuss certain problems that you have with them or certain situations that you feel like we need to talk about this and they just like okay whatever uh-huh i don't care i'm gonna fix that and it keeps going on you need to cut them like they're literally taking advantage of you sometimes people be plotting on you to get closer to a friend that you're closer to plotting on you to get closer to your man plotting on you to get closer to somebody that you talk to all types of messy little things taking advantage of your friendship so they can you know end the friendship so they can talk about you and bring up stuff that you told them that was personal to you all types of messy stuff i don't even want to talk about it because this it's just pissing me off just thinking about it but that's why i try to distance myself from females i said this in my last video i don't have female friends because a lot of people that i know that was friends with females you feel what i'm saying i can just watch like I literally just sat there and watched them manipulate, talk about people. Like, they'll be their friend, and then they'll go to another person and be like, oh, this person does this. I don't like what she be doing. I don't like how she be doing this. She gets on my nerves. She talk too much. I'm cool with her. I'm only cool with her because of this reason. And I'm just like, but you was just with her laughing, hee hee ha ha. And now you go to this person and tell them how bad of a person she is, how much you hate her, yada, yada, yada. How, how how does that how does that oh my god the person that i made an intro for just noticed and i'm just like how does that work like that's mad disrespectful that's crossing the line don't let nobody cross the line with you and then still continue to be friends with them because it's just going to get worse and worse and worse and it's going to like you know what i'm saying don't let nobody manipulate you and then he he ha ha in your face and then talk about you behind your back because they will literally smile on your face and stab you in your back and you would never know okay the next thing is dating um if we were 
talking in my perspective from a year or two ago, you I would be like, oh well, um, he's cute. I want to talk to him. You're my boyfriend. And honestly, I I let go of that. We I don't roll like that no more. This is that's not me because I feel like I'm not going to waste my time. You know what I'm saying? Over attention, over a little cuddle, over a hug, over a kiss. You know what I'm saying? No. Now, from my perspective, you know what I mean? Now, I would say I've grown out of that. I became more mature. I'm looking for something long term, which I'm in a relationship now. But I would say I'm dating to marry, like something long term, something that will last. I'm. I don't have the same perspective as I used to. Just for like, you know what I'm saying? No, I feel like long term yeah <laughs> that's all i really had to say i feel like dating is just a waste of time when you're younger because it's like there's so many other things you could be focusing on and then there's so many obstacles and intercepts of a relationship like like a person wanting your boyfriend <laughs> and it's like they try so hard to get so close to close to that person but i salute you if you do get that close because it's not going to happen but it's like it's so many parts it's, then it's communication then it's this communication and you know what i'm saying it's just so many little things that goes into a relationship by being so freaking young there's peer pressure there's you know what i'm saying it's just so much i can't even then attention friendship and then pleasing their need i'm not even gonna get into it the next thing is getting in your bag. So when I was younger, I really didn't understand this topic. Like, getting in your bag, what is that? Like, what I need to get in my bag for? So basically, obviously, getting in your bag is getting money. But it goes really deeper than that. If you want to, you know, think deeper than that. Like, focusing on yourself. Um, getting money, obviously. Getting a job. And basically, glowing up. Like, if you just got a relationship and he put you through hell, she put you through hell. And you feel like... You just down, you depressed, you, you don't know how to get over it. I feel like just hop in your bag, glow up, you know, pamper yourself, get your hair done, get your nose done, feel good. You feel what I'm saying? Get your work done, get your education, get a job, get some money, spoil yourself. Like, do all the things that you would do with that person, but by yourself and show them that you don't need them and that you're independent and just... You know what I'm saying? Release yourself from all the negativity. Glow up. Get your bag. Get in your bag. Don't let nobody stop you from grinding. Go eat. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm that's what I'm like perpetrating from getting in your bag. That's like my favorite thing to do. <laughs> the next thing is cheating. And this topic is it pisses me off. It's very self-explanatory. I feel like if you cheat, like if you cheat. <laughs> You're literally the scum of the earth. Because why? I really don't find the concept of it. Like, why get in a relationship to mess with somebody else? Why get in a relationship to hurt somebody? That's what I was saying in the beginning. Like, put yourself in other people's shoes. I'm not going to point out one gender. But I'm just going to say people be so quick to cheat. And then as soon as the other person cheat on them, they're a hoe. They're a thought. And then we're making songs normalizing being a hoe and a thought and having a whore and a thought. Like, I just don't understand that topic at all. Like, what is the, what is, what was the reason? It's not cute at all. Like, you feel what I'm saying? And then y'all normalize cheating and unhealthy, toxic relationships. And I don't want that. I don't want that. So why are y'all putting this in songs? Why are y'all normalizing it? You know what I'm saying? That's, okay do you i'ma do me okay i'm just gonna mind my business i feel like getting cheated on is not a good feeling i do not condone it at all so if you're gonna do that just keep it away from me because i if you listen don't date me to cheat on me don't let me catch feelings and then you're behind my back doing something that's not okay okay it's not the next topic is being insecure about hype 
um when i was younger i was always like kind of like the person that was always taller in the class so second grade you know what i'm saying i was taller than most of the people in the class we used to stand in a b lines if i'm saying so i was always like the tallest at the end of the line and people would be like oh you're a tall stick you're a tree you're a stitcher cord you're this you're and i'm just like i used to be heard about it i used to get picked on about my hijabis and about my uh abayas because when i was uh in kindergarten i used to always wear i was always garbed up all this stuff like that and i'm just like why are you picking on me because of my religion that's something that's where you cross the line don't do that don't do that because if i were to disrespect your religion i would be wrong but i would never do that so why would you even come to me like I didn't create this religion, but I chose to believe in it. I chose to study it. And you feel what I'm saying? So why would you disrespect me in that way? Okay. I don't have nothing to do with how you feel, but maybe you should keep that to yourself. Because I have my little thoughts in my head too, but I keep it to my self. Okay. But I just got off like track a little bit. So what I was saying was height. I feel like growing up, it was kind of annoying. Like, yes, I was taller than most people in my class, most friends. And also another little part of it was it was a lot of short people that were male so i was like always like taller than a boy so it was like i can't get anything you know but i grew out of that i realized like so Yana, you're only five eight or five nine you're only five eight or five nine so like there's you're not the tallest you're not five ten five eleven you're not six foot there's taller people than you and i had to realize that like and i also had to realize that i'm pretty I'm pretty and I'm tall and I'm different. I was made this way. It's nothing I can do about that. I'm not just going to shrink. So I just had to let that go eventually. The next thing is uh, being insecure about uh, weight. So this is something that I had to get over like and it took a long time. I don't even think I still got over it. Like I still have little thoughts in my head like damn look at me i'm so you know what i'm saying like i'll be on instagram and i'll be looking at all these thick short girls and i'll be like why can't i be her like why wasn't i born like her and there's nothing i could do about that i can't shrink myself but i can definitely gain weight but it's harder for me because i have fast metabolism and you know what i'm saying i always wanted like bigger boobs bigger booty bigger thighs what i'm saying but it was like why seriana I, I had to like really talk myself into like why why do you want to look like them why can't you just be yourself and i realized i'm just me and that's just who i am and maybe one day i will gain weight and feel more happy with myself and i feel like a lot of people have to realize some people try to say oh why you want to change yourself uh what's like why would you do that but some people don't understand we're not always doing it to fit in sometimes people do it because they just don't feel comfortable with their body they don't feel happy in their own skin i honestly feel that i feel for you because when i walk in dresses i walk like a penguin I hate wearing dresses because of how skinny and long my legs are. My next topic is discharge. Discharge is totally normal. I saw a lot of videos on TikTok where boys literally throw shade at females for having stains in their underwear. This is literally normal and I feel like y'all are so childish and immature for even bringing the topic up, exposing your girlfriend because she has stains in her underwear. That is literally so disgusting. Like why would you even put her on a spot like that? And second of all, all you doing is getting yourself some shade because all females is gonna come for you because it's literally normal. And I honestly used to think that it was something wrong with me until I saw a lot of people talk about it and I was watching YouTube videos and TikTok videos. It's totally normal. Your vagina is literally a self-cleaning organ and it has to release some things, release some liquids, you know what I'm saying? A lot of different things and discharge comes with it so when you see little things like that in your underwear don't feel bad don't feel like because it's definitely normal and it's a lot of ways that you can like you know not get discharged like you know uh making a butter i'm not sure if this completely get rid of it but i did hear that it like slows it down a little bit than regularly her diet drinking certain things not drinking certain things and um i feel like i don't i try to do that but most of the things are things that i eat on a regular and i am in love with so i 
I'm just gonna have to feel comfortable with my body because that's just the way my body is. That's what my body releases. I have nothing to do with that. You feel what I'm saying? If your discharge is green, yellow, and smells not as normal as usual, you should definitely get that checked out. I'm not even trying to be funny. Um, you can get a yeast infection which you can get rid of and it's also normal but it's not comfortable at all and you should definitely go to the doctor if you ever receive any of those thank you you know man i never received a, a yeast infection personally so yeah the next thing is shaving i personally don't shave my legs at all i only shave my legs at least two times in my whole lifetime a lot of people shave their legs like every week i don't understand i feel like my legs doesn't even get that hairy i mean yes it is hairy and when i did shave i did see a big difference like my legs was like mad smooth and i can see like my legs was lighter but i feel like i don't feel a need to like i don't nobody be sees me naked and touches me and we cuddle um i don't wear dresses nobody barely sees my legs anyway so i don't feel the, the need to take the time out of my day to shave my legs plus my legs are so long and skinny i i don't feel like it for underarms i feel like a lot of women don't shave their underarms but i personally do i just don't like the way it looks like especially when i wear a sports bra or a spaghetti strap shirt i feel like no it's just not it's not cute to me don't come at me i know a lot of people feel like body hair is body hair grows on you we are mammals <laughs> what mammals don't have hair but it's like i just don't find it cute in my opinion i don't want to raise my hand and you see hair underneath my arm i just don't find it no but when it comes to down there i like to keep that body if i'm saying like because I just be keeping that shit so bald and <laughs> because I just it, it's personally uncomfortable for me. And if you feel my, you know what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, it's this is TMI. <laughs> Next topic is long distance relationships. So I only been in one long distance relationship. I am from Philly. The person that I was dating was from Florida, and it didn't really work out. I feel like our our communication was okay, but then it started getting rocky, and it wasn't like on 100 like when it comes to long distance relationship your communication needs to be on 100 you get kind of insecure sometimes and you don't know what's going on because you're not there with them so you don't really know what they're doing while they're all the way out there and it just I, I don't feel it like I really don't I need love and affection right here I I don't want to really wait I don't want to be far apart from you for too long I'm too clingy for that I you find I'm saying you can call me a simp all you want I don't care but it's all from your perspective if you like long distance if you in a long distance relationship right now i wish y'all good luck keep that communication up you feel what i'm saying yeah the next topic is strict parents so i have strict parents um to get past this type of situation is communication also talking to your parents i know a lot of people who have parents who are strict they don't budge like i honestly feel you they don't budge at all because they they feel like as a child they was out of control so they don't want you to be out of control so they like you feel what i'm saying i saw this this quote and it was like um strict parents uh raise sneaky kids and i feel like that's totally true i try not to cross the line or you know what i'm saying because i feel like all that's going to do is make me look even worse because my grandma loves to bring up things that i could possibly do like get pregnant so drugs all type of stuff and i'm just like why why are you thinking the worst and i realized that when i get older i'm probably going to think the same thing because i don't want my child being you know what i'm saying i want my child to be a good role model uh, a good person in general so at the moment like you know as a child like right, i don't really feel like there's a need to do all that but i do feel like you should at least get my opinion understand where i'm coming from like i'm not the person that you're that you don't want me to be but you literally talking me into doing it like you're like oh you're gonna do this and you're gonna do that and i don't got time for that and i'm gonna, I'm gonna be blah, blah, blah. And i'm just like can you listen to my opinion and she keeps bringing up that i'm a child so she doesn't have to listen to me under her roof and i'm just like please like just listen to me at least just listen to how i feel about the situation and i eventually talked her out of it and that's how i got past it but it's a lot of times where they don't budge at all and i feel like at least give them your perspective at least have them listen to how you feel and if they don't want to listen 
I, I really don't even know. I just had to have patience. Like, I, I didn't... It's a lot of kids that would literally sneak out the house. You know what I'm saying? Just forget what their parents were saying. Because they feel like their parents wasn't going to budge at all. But I had a lot of times where I wanted to do that. But I chilled out. And I was like, I'm going to have patience. I'm going to chill. I'm going to show her that I'm not that person that she think I am. And she was eventually was like, yes, go ahead. I don't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's what you got to do. You got to be patient with it. And if they don't budge at all, I don't know. Maybe you should be sneaky as shit. So that was the last topic. If you guys want a part two to this girl talk, comment down below. So I enjoyed making this video. I feel like I'm talking to my little best friend. So if you my new best friend, then subscribe and comment down below if you like this video or not. Like this video, share share it with a friend or a family member, and you know maybe repost a certain part that you liked on your story on Instagram and tag me at the only one Anna. Um. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Turn on post notifications so that you will be notified the next time that I upload. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. It's your girl, Sarah, and Sarah is out.